Hmm? So um, recently there was an article published by the Associated Press that talks about all the different governors that are in favor of, um, I guess, less uh, drug war policy. Uh, they want to focus on rehabilitating these people mm -hmm. as opposed to throwing them in jail. And one of those governors is Chris Christie, which mm. I did not expect. So, you know, of course, he's a Republican. Um, and he was very outspoken about the fact that we need to stop putting people in jail when they're caught with drugs and focus on giving them treatment so we help them, not immediately punish them and continue wasting our taxpayer dollars. So he even gives the example of how much money we're wasting. In New Jersey right now, it costs about $39,000 to jail each offender. However, if you treat them, it only costs $11,000. And he's like, look, we got to do something that makes sense. And right now, the war on drugs doesn't make sense. And you know what? I give him a tremendous amount of credit because I know he's going to get criticism for this from the Republicans. Right. Um, and I'm also concerned that the private prisons will uh, pay him off ASAP. <laughs> well, maybe that's why he's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, seriously, I I'm not as surprised. Because you know New Jersey is a largely progressive state. It's mm -hmm. a northeastern state, uh, and so what Chris Christie has to do is he's be like, "Oh, I'm tough and conservative on fiscal issues, but on some of the social issues, I'm with you guys, right?" Because mm -hmm. if he was like Michelle Bachman on the social issues, then he's got no chance in New Jersey. And of course, legalizing polls better in New Jersey than it does in more conservative and red states. That's part of the equation. Nonetheless, give him credit because if he tries to run for president, which he's certainly thinking about in the next cycle, which he thought about in this cycle, you know how the Republican primary voters are. This They're like, how dare you? But you know what? Actually, this issue's moved so much that even Herman Cain was talking about the possibility of letting the states decide for themselves. Right, Herman Cain did say that, but if you ask him what he thinks about drug policy, he would say that he, you know, believes that it should be illegal, yada, yada, yada. Of course. Of course, right. So he's not going to come out and say, like, oh, let's just legalize it and give these people treatment. He's not going to say that. But Ron Paul, during the last debate, when he said, he, first of all, he came out very strong about how we need to end the war on drugs. Mm -hmm. I, he definitely won some points in my book because yeah. he wasn't very, like, he wasn't quiet about it. He was very outspoken. No, Ron Paul on half the issues is excellent. Yeah. And honestly, much better than the Democrats. Which Democrat says, okay, that's it, we should end the war on drugs? Look, I remember when Obama came and did his first interactive uh, you know, speech where he took questions from the audience. Number one question was about legalizing marijuana. This was now a couple of years ago, and he like laughed. Like he got to it like way late, and it was like, oh yeah, we're gonna legalize marijuana. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that was a dumb question, but that's ridiculous. I'm paraphrasing, but that was definitely the essence of it. Now, meanwhile, if you go over to Newt Gingrich, who's now leading among the Republicans for the presidential uh, race, he says that if you, uh, his stance on, on the war on drugs is that we're not being tough enough. Right. That we course. need to uh, step it up, that in fact we need to have the same uh, laws as Singapore. And in Singapore, uh, if you have just a little bit of heroin. They'll okay. cane you. No, 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 <laughs> they don't cane you. They execute you. No. I'm not kidding, it's mandatory, okay? And in fact, they've already executed someone. A guy had 0.4 uh, kilograms of heroin. They executed him. And that's what Newt Gingrich thinks we should do. So trust the Republican with that policy and see how it turns out for you. Well, if it's Ron Paul, it might work out great for you. It depends on the Republican.